Hey guys, today I got another video. Got another package. Got some cigars in the mail. I'm gonna do a little unboxing. This is a uh, another cigar of the month club from Corona. Let's see what I got. This is uh, the June June sampler. Invoice. Here we go. I can already see a cow CAO Brazilian. Oh, we got some nice ones here. See, looks like we got a Torano. Here it is. And a little Ziploc bag. Got a Torano there. CAO. Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, these are these are all cheapies, guys. I already recognize all of them. So we got already know Carlos Torano, Casa Torano. It's like their cheapest cigar. It's not bad. It's just real cheap. Here you go. Got a Robusto. You get. 10 for 40 bucks, so the four dollars each. Uh, Romeo and Juliet Havoc, the newer one, which uh, a lot of people say is uh, pretty bad. Really huge ring gauge. I've never had one. This is, I guess, Magnum 6x60, 87 bucks. Doesn't say for how many, probably 20. It's a huge ring gauge. 6x60 Havoc, so we'll see. Let me know if you've had it. Another Havoc, I already reviewed this one. Pretty a coincidence, I just finished reviewing it. But this is, I think this is bigger than the one I had. It's probably the same size total, 6x54. So I got another one. Of all the cigars, they sent me one I already had and already reviewed. Which I said I probably would never buy again. But, not a big deal. This one's dirt cheap, and I think only they have it. This is the house resolution. You guys will probably never hear about it or see it. They sell this. Well, I'm not sure what it. I'm not sure the size. Probably in the Churchill, what they call speaker, seven by fifty-two. Yeah, it looks about a Churchill size, seven by fifty-two. It's got a cool band and a cool theme. It's made by J.C. Newman. Made in the Brick House factory. Brick House is a good cigar, good and cheap. Jason Newman. So it's so it might be good. I know it's real cheap. It's uh, eighty bucks for a box. Then we got this one, which they've been really trying to get rid of. This is a Don Lino Africa. I've never had a Don Lino, but uh, from the people that I know, they say they hated it. And this one is like a gordito. It's like a torpedo robusto, like a nub. 4x58, real thick. You get 10 for 25 bucks, so 250 a stick. Yeah, they've been putting these in a whole bunch of specials and stuff to try to get rid of them. Here's a CAO Brasilia, pretty much the easiest one to recognize from the lot. This is a, a big seller. This is, um, I'm not sure what size, it looks like a Robusto. This is probably, yeah. What, well, no, this isn't box press have to be yeah, four and a half. the Corcovado four and a half by sixty you get that for seventy seven bucks you get a box but it doesn't say how many so of all these probably this one's a lot cheaper than the other ones as in uh, in total the average price for all these six is probably a lot less than uh, than previous editions get the house resolution which I'm, this is probably a little bit more excited about because it's made by J.C. Newman. You know, they're the ones who make uh, Diamond Crown, Julius Caesar, um, Maximus, and the Brick House, which is really good and cheap. And the, according to them, it's made in the same factory as Brick House in Nicaragua.
This is more like a charity cigar to support a, a law that's going to help uh, keep cigars safe from the FDA. So this is like a charitable uh, cigar, special edition. Have it by open. I already reviewed it so you guys can see it. This is just going to stay in my box. I probably won't even take it out of this other thing. Just leave it in there. Hopefully it will get better with age. Just forget about it and maybe just I don't know, give it to someone or try it after it's been aged a long time. A Havoc, which is also real cheap. And uh, a few people that I know that had it, they said they hated it. But I'll give it a shot. I'll review it. Real cheap. Huge ring gauge, 60. Real, real thick. CAO, Brasilia. This I really want to try. Never had one. I really like CAO. I like that all their cigars are like really cool, original, innovative blends of tobacco. Real unique cigars, CAO. So that I'm excited about. I've already had this. I don't know if I reviewed it. I don't think I have. But it's a good cigar. Not bad. Not bad at all. But uh, I think this has already been in like one or two samples, samplers. And this, I have very low expectations, but I might be proven wrong. So hopefully it'll prove me wrong. Because I don't have huge expectations on it. But because uh, they're so cheap and I use, you know, they're kind of like, uh, you know, they just, there's nothing appealing about it really. And uh, they, they always have them for dirt cheap and specials to like get them for free and stuff and kind of like it makes it seem like they want to get rid of it like it's not selling so but hopefully it'll be good hopefully it'll prove me wrong um all right guys if there's anything you want to uh if there's anything here you want to review ahead of time to like push in front of the other ones any requests from this or if you've had it let me know what you think what it was like if i know what to expect here we go and here That's cool, two cigars called Havoc. I don't know who copied who. Well, they're made by the same company. They're both owned by Altadis. Yeah. And I guess for their new cigars, they chose to name it Havoc for both of them, for H. Upman and Romeo and Juliet. These are by the same mother company, Altadis USA. And these are some other newer ones. This one's not too new, but this one, I think is, this one's newer. But uh, they're both called Havoc. And it's under the same sampler. That's a cool little theme there. And I think, don't quote me, but I think that these are only available through Corona. I know they have some deals on it. This one's real cheap for a box and it comes in a real nice box. So uh, this is probably what I'm most excited about because, you know, JC Newman's a really good company. Never even disappointed by JC Newman. Um, Alright guys, till next time.